Alright folks, welcome to this episode. In today's video, you join me here at the shore of the Blackwater Dam. And today, as you can see, the Blackwater Dam is really low. So there's like a beach area right around the outside of it. And it's so cool. Because we've got some wind today, I do apologise for any wind noise in the audio. The wind's making these waves on the water. Most spots are so busy just now, because everybody's got the same idea. Everybody's coming to these cool places nowadays when the weather's good. When we look down the valley here, we can see the dam wall running across. And then the giant tower over here. Look at this in front of us, it's glorious. A bit of rugged Scottish landscape here, folks. We're out here exploring once again. Last time I came along here, the water was right up to the edge there, and it was kind of wet conditions. Because I think the last time I went along, and I couldn't go any further than this forest here behind me. So today, we'll have an exciting new route. Never seen before on BKR, folks. Look at these waves rolling in here, it's so cool. Look at this here, it's just a peak bog here to my left. Loads of different types of bog grass. You can see how the actual water of the dam has been like underwashing parts of it. Look at that. How far in does that go? That's incredible. It's like a natural tunnel under there. Look how wet it is. Here we go folks, somebody's left an enormous bit of litter here, which is a shame. They've had their little fire here at this cool little camping spot. You can probably, they could have burnt most of that litter in the fire, but they've left it there. This is the forest that I went and explored the last time, because this is as far as I could get. Just like looking at a beautiful photograph out there. What a view. I'll continue on my mission here, folks, around the edge of here. Here's a new detail that I've just noticed from this area. If we look over the top of the dam, there's actually little wind turbines along there. You can see five massive wind turbines on the horizon in there. They maybe don't show on this camera, but I can't think of ever noticing that before. Look at this tree. See the amount of midges or the beasties that just flew out of that tree when I went past? That was crazy. Here, I'm going to go under here. Because of all those midgy things that just flew out of that tree, I'm sort of hooding up for this like. Oh, there's so many of these beasties. This is real exploring, folks. Once again on BKR, I'm doing it. So you don't have to. Look at these midges flying around me. This is slippy clay underfoot here. I'm just going to try and make it past these trees. Wow, this is amazing. Proper exploring, folks. I'm just going to continue on out this way here.
That was incredible. Look at this. I have to be careful when I'm exploring in case there's any wasp or beehives. That's what would any want. I'm thinking I will be able to go over here. I'll just have to be skillful. these beasties fleeing in my face but I'll put up with it. That's what exploring's all about certain times of year. Look at that folks. That was a crazy bit of navigation around there. <sighs> On the rails. That's what makes exploring fun. The toughest parts of the explore are the best bits. The worst bit was probably coming underneath those trees. Most of those beasties though that are flying about there, they're not going to do me any harm. They'll just be some little kind of midgy things. Nothing to worry about. See the water's pure brown behind me here. That'll be a result of the peat. Oh look at this, we've come upon another camping spot here at the corner. Which I would say probably isn't as good as the other one. Because this one's very like open in the wind. Look at this. Somebody's left a saw there. What type of saw is that folks? That's right, it's a tenon saw. I can hear a I can hear a grasshopper here. Right folks, I'm gonna try and skim a stone along the along the water. This is my stone of choice. It's a it's a big one. But I think I think I'll get it to skim. I'll put the camera on this rock, look it over the water and I'll skim a few stones out here. So that's a stone skimming fail, folks. And I think because of the, the way these waves are, like little peaks on them, you can't skim a stone properly. It just dips right in under the water. I'm thinking I'll probably go see what like it is round by this next little forest bit. If it's too difficult to get around, I'll not bother, but we'll try. say anything about this spot, I would say that it's a peaceful spot in here, like, with the sound of the water, and all these little streams running into it, and all this water ends up being the water supply for Dundee, and here it is running off the Scottish hilltop. One day it'll be running out of Scottish Tap somewhere. There's so many rhododendron bushes up here that the sun's at a poor angle to get these, but it's honestly like all the light green bushes there. It's like rhododendron bushes galore. Anyway, I'll update you along here. See if that's cool, folks. Amazing the way that the water's just worn away there. The land's just 
hanging on without the marks. Look at the way the trees have fallen into the water here, this is cool. Okay, it looks like some crazy alpine landscape here, like. You wouldn't even think it was Scotland. You might try and just jump on this and then jump over it. Because these are at the edge of the forest, strong wind. We just knock them off, and probably the water's worn away. See what's crazy, like, look at this. Kind of like, as the tree, it's it's there. It's just literally hanging on. Probably if you grabbed it and pulled it, it would just be like, down. That's how that's how all these trees are at the end of the wood. Look at this, this is another cool bit. And look, there's actual trees with nothing below them, they're just hovering there. Look at it, it's like a, a wave. The way it's curving over here. That's been a big eating like. I was thinking of just walking up to the main road and back, but I think it'll be quite fun to try and climb back over that narrow bit. So I'll maybe just stick to the water's edge on the way back to Look at this though folks. It's a cool area. It seems to be clay under the ground here. There must be a lot of clay in the ground here. Look at that, it's an amazing scene. Somebody's house over there, that must be a cool house to live in. Then there's like a little kind of cabin house up, up there as well. The architecture of the tower really shows the era when this place was built in the 60s. The styling of the cement is very futuristic. It looks almost space aged. But it's really cool. That tower over there goes so deep down, it's incredible. Again, you wouldn't realise how deep that is. I can't even mind what the actual figures are, the numbers, about the depths and quantity of water here. Like, again, when they first built the dam and then blocked it, it took nine months for it to fill to the level that it's at, to the full usable level. Look at this, we can see the white watermark around the edge of this, which must be the most common height of the water here. All these stones have been dumped along the edge of this bit to stop it eroding. We'll maybe actually get a few trailer loads further back that way. These stones will have just been brought here probably when the dam was constructed. Oh, look at this stone. It's got like quartz in it or something. Oh, I just stood on a sharp stone. It's alright, it didn't cut my foot. So yeah, I've come pretty far up here, folks. It's interesting to see what it looks like around the edge of the dam, when the water's low. Probably when it's at that height, the waves will still be crashing right up there. We to get another dynamic of it. Another perspective. I can see in the water, it just goes down there and it's like drops off fell deep like. Because the sun's shining into it, you can't really see the bottom after like five metres out. It's just darkness. The way these stones are with the wee gravel between it, it's crazy. It's so like we've come into a whole different landscape now in this little section. Can I keep on thinking I'll just turn around and start heading back and then I just keep walking further. We're so close to the tower. It's 
so I'm heading back along there, folks. Look at this. What, what, is, what is this? Look, it looks like an old safe door. The door with like double locks on it. Wonder where that's been. It's maybe been something that's been discarded into the water after a robbery. Maybe somebody's had nicked a safe and then blown the door off it and then thrown it in the backwater dam. Who knows, folks? But it looks old. Maybe been an old toolbox lid. Ooh. Just about slipping all over these stones. It's going to be fun trying to get back round over that tree that I had to climb over. I should be able to do it easier on the return leg of the journey. I'm going to hit a duck under all these trees as well. Loving this place, folks. It's incredible. In the summer, it's perfect when you've got this cool breeze blowing through. See, probably a lot of these stones were actually under the ground before the dam was made, whereas those other stones we saw back there were like brought here for somewhere else and dumped. But this is probably the natural like stone out of the ground that used to be between the soil. All the soil has been washed away like salt, leaving all this stony land under the water. So bits like this makes the whole explore worthwhile. So I have to try and navigate back over here. So I was just thinking the best route to go. This is incredible. I wonder if I could balance on that all the way across. Sounding like it's actually going to break. I'll maybe just have to go on the one that I that I came here on. Look at it there, it's just tons of trees, just decimation. Is that a word? It's just destroyed. Trees down all directions, folks. And look at that, there's a tree down here actually causing a blockage. Anyway, I'm going to use the tree to my advantage here. Right, we're on it. We're in the heat of the moment here now. Live action, folks, once again. This is pretty much just like a balance. It's like walking the tightrope. But it's no problem. We're away from the watery bog now. Right, I'm waiting to do it once again to get along here. Oh, we did it. That was brilliant. Now, then what, folks? I'm going to put my hood up again. For all these beasties here, we're going in under here. And those beasties are savages. Spider webs on my nose. My feet are sliding in. Crazy. Look at this. So that's it, we've done it. 
It's amazing that I even originally decided to go under there in hindsight. Because that was a crazy little skite along the side of there, like. So that's what exploring's all about, folks. I've probably got the sun in the lens. I'm going to end this video here. Tune in very soon for the next one. See you soon.